What up, what up, what up? It's DJ Big Boss, Hubei and Sports Talk. Got my Mountain West breakdown for week number six coming up right here. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. If you've been paying attention, you know, I've been giving out a lot of good content and information. Uh, stay tuned in. I always do my homework and give y'all the best that I can. Over here chilling with my man Chucky. What's up, Chucky? He ain't, he ain't been wanting to talk all day. I don't know. I think he up to something. Go on, take a drink, man. Something. I know you can talk and all that stuff. I've seen the movies. He tripping, man. You gonna be all right? Anyways, that's my man Chucky. He gonna hang out with us for the month since it's Halloween, man. So I'm gonna just jump on into it. The Mountain West breakdown. Week six, we're gonna go out to the West. First up, we got Florida State. Florida State, last week results, 49-27 to home win versus Toledo. I called that on the show. Said that Toledo wasn't ready for a team like them. This week, they're on the road to Nevada. The line is 11 and a half. The over and under is 60 and a half. Fresno State is 3 and 1 and looking good in the Mountain West. Fresno State is number 22 on defense and they have a balanced offense. These two teams have quite a history though. Fresno State leads the series 28 to 20. And uh, 11 and a half is just too close for comfort. Uh, I'm going to take Nevada in this game plus the 11 and a half. Next up, we got San Diego State. San Diego State last week was on a bye week. This week, they're on the road. They go to Boise State. They see Boise State. The line is 14 and a half plus 14 for, uh, for, plus 14 and a half for San Diego State. The over-under is 51. This is the first conference game for San Diego State. They sitting at 3-1. and one. They had a good win against Arizona State at the beginning of the year. Uh, San Diego State is number 35 on defense. They're run-first offense. They do it really well. They really pride themselves in blocking and tackling. They should keep Boise State occupied and stay below that 14 and a half and cover this week. Next, we got UNLV. They're coming off a of bye as well. They're at home seeing New Mexico. The line is minus 10 for Hawaii. The over-under is 61. Coach Sanchez is building this team brick by brick. Expect the rest of UNLV to open up a little bit against the number 24 ranked defense in New Mexico. Preparation is key, and uh, Sanchez, I'm pretty sure he did a good job of uh, preparation for this one. Both teams can move a scoreboard, though, so I will think this would go over. But I did some more research, and I dug into it a little further, and I'm going to go ahead and go with the same thing I've been going on some of the other shows. Two positive teams, meaning two passing offensive positive teams equals a negative. So this game is going to go under the 61. So, I got the under 61 in the UNLV game. So, I'm going to move over to Nevada. Nevada last week had a 28-25 road win over Air Force. Pretty tight game. Um, Nevada worked really hard to get past Air Force. And, you know, they won the game. This week, they home versus Fresno State. Fresno State's a much more caliber team for them. The line is plus 11 and a half over or under 60 and a half. Nevada can store, and we do know this. They're ranked 31 in scoring offense and 95 in defense. Nevada can play. But history in this, in this, uh, in this matchup again, Fresno State and Nevada is 28-20. to 20, And Fresno is leading this matchup right here. These guys play a lot, so they kind of know each other. 11 and a half is just a little bit too many points for me to give up. I'm going to stick with Nevada. Then we go over to San Jose State. San Jose State had a 41 to 44 home loss last week to Hawaii. I knew Hawaii would get the victory. They didn't cover the minus 10 points. It was a good game. It went into overtime. This week, Fresno, I mean San Jose State is home versus Colorado State. 0-4 San Jose State stays home to see 1-4 Colorado State. This game should be titled The Battle of Hope. Whoever wins this game has a little more hope in the Mountain Conference. I'm going to watch this game from afar. I'm not too hot on either one of these teams. Last week, we got uh, Hawaii over here in the West. Uh, last week, they beat up on San Jose State. Like I said, they won in overtime, 44-41. to 41. This week, they see Wyoming, and they're at the island. So, Hawaii engine gets started at the late end of the game, and now they're moving over to the island. Their A raid is most effective on the island. They're averaging 42 points a game. Hawaii will blow past Wyoming. And the game should go over 55. 
So Hawaii is at minus three and a half and the over is 55. I got Hawaii and the over. Let's move on over to the uh, Mountain Division. Top of the Mountain Division, Boise State. Last week, 34 to 14 road win. Covered uh, the 17 points ATS over uh, Wyoming. This week, they see San Jose State. It's going to be a clash of two good teams. San Jose State is really good. They can run. They can block really well. And Boise State is big. They can run and they can pass. Um, but the quarterback over there at Boise State, uh, Brett, is pretty good. But the running back over there at San Diego State is pretty good as well. Um, I expect uh, Boise State to win the game. But as far as the spread go, the 14 and a half, I'm going to go ahead and go with San Diego State. They should keep them occupied long enough to cover that game. Then we're going to go over to Utah State. Utah State had a bye week last week. This week, they take a trip out to BYU. Coming off a 42-32 to uh, 32 tough win against Air Force into the bye week, Utah has won um, last year in this game 40-24. to 24. So this is a very tough team. The offense is ranked third in total offense. Can't really choose a side in this one after BYU upset Wisconsin. So I'm just going to sit back and watch this one. And I'm leaning the over 54 and a half. Next, we have Wyoming. Wyoming lost to Boise State last week. This week, they're on the road to Hawaii. Hawaii's a much good team on the island, like I said. <coughs> last year, Wyoming won 28 to 21 in Wyoming. This year, Wyoming's really broke down. They ranked on offense number 21 in the college football. They're both um, pretty good teams, but Hawaii really gets at them on this island. Hawaii's going to blow past Wyoming. The game's going to go over 55. Next, we have Air Force. Air Force took the home loss to Nevada last week. This week, they see Navy, military teams. I, I have to fall off the military teams. I just can't get a grip. You know, all I can say is they play tough and they play for four quarters. Then we got Colorado State. Colorado State was on the bye week last week. They come to see the San Jose State. San Jose State should be pretty upset from the late loss against Hawaii. But both of these teams need some work. Hopefully, uh, Colorado State patched up a few holes in the ship and can get it going a little bit. But I'm totally off this game. I'm going to watch. Whoever wins this game has a little hope in the mountain division, you know, might be able to get a token award or something, an early, buy, a, a early bowl game or something. I don't know. But then we got New Mexico State. New Mexico State last week. Had a 43 to 52 home loss to Liberty. Liberty's the team trying to make their way into the uh, league, you know, little by little. They caught a New Mexico slipping and they took advantage of them. 52 43. This week, uh, New Mexico's on the road to UNLV. UNLV is coming off a bye. New Mexico can score. That's about the only thing that we can say about them. Not much defense over there. And uh, both teams in this battle is going to be 2-2. Two and two. UNLV is rested. These are two highly scoring teams. You know, uh, I expect two positives to equal a negative. I'm going to take the under 61 in this game. Mark me on that one. But thanks for tuning in, man. Chucky still, you still don't want to say nothing, Chucky? Tell the people something? Yeah, man. Take a shot. Wait till the camera go off. That's cool. But shout out to the Money Gang, shout out to the Low Bag family, shout out to the SBR Network, shout out to my man Trot Wham in the house, shout out to my camera guy, Left Coast Sports, you know, just having a good time, appreciating everybody tuning in, trying to give y'all some good content, go get you some money, go watch some games and have a little insight, have some fun, bet a friend or something, you know, gentleman's bet, whatever, and you know, have a drink. If you have a cigar, have a cigar. But enjoy yourself. Enjoy life, man. It's a beautiful thing. I'm out of here.